<sighs> okay. Document number two from part one. So part one was the bed. The clothes that I brought out are the ones that I want to like start wearing all the time to work. And I'm going to use the new hanger that I got at the container store, the wood hangers for them. This is the closet. So like when you're downsizing, they try to like tell you take everything out and do things in sections so you don't get overwhelmed, of course, which I've done this. So this was like a year long journey. So I'm still in the year, but I started like months ago and I had a lot of stuff when I moved back into this condo. So that part is done. So this is just me trying to just organize the closet to look the way I want it to look. And I've taken a lot of stuff out and I didn't even have room on my bed or on the floor for the rest of these clothes because I just can't see things anymore. There's like clothes stacked on clothes. So this is the current closet with literally all the stuff removed from it. Like we're talking more than 40 pairs of clothing items have been removed that I want to hang. And I walk in and from the container store, I was getting more clear plastic container because like these ones straight ahead that I use are like bunched up and I just, it started getting messy. So I got more of those clear containers to see if I can organize it correctly or if I need to get a different type. But I like seeing things so I know what I have and I don't have to keep buying in bulk. And these hangy thingies or whatever, which reminds me of my college years, they work for some people's room. In my room, I've come to realize that I don't like them. They just look tacky to me, which is funny because they're not cheap. So I just don't like them. It's not the style that I'm going for. It looks messy every time, but they're really useful because I throw the pajamas in there or anything that I need really quickly that I don't have to pay attention to. I just throw it in there, but that's going to go because it's not working for me. These are all the like sweaters and jackets and some work tires that I like wear. So when I say like I pick an outfit when I buy it and I'll wear it and I'll like it so much and I just keep wearing that. So of course I buy three pairs of the same outfits in different colors and I like it so then I just keep wearing that over and over. And then I don't get to wear the other outfits that I bought or mix and match or do something new. So I always look the same, which I really don't mind it, but when you're trying to downsize, that's a problem because you have too many clothes that you're working with and you're not using what you have. So I'm trying to stop myself from buying and I've gotten rid of a lot. And these ones, if something comes into my closet, so I just like purchased another suit that I'm going to try on from Macy's. And if I decide to keep it, then two of these clothing has to go. That's a rule. I love the clothes that I have left because I've gotten rid of everything that I don't like or don't wear. It's too big or it's uncomfortable or it's too small. So it's, it's, it's emotional attachment. So if I buy something, that means I have to get rid of two items and I don't see myself doing that. So I really, really have to love something before I let go of something which is actually a good thing because it helps you not buy so much. Sweatshirts. Um, I graduated, of course, Sac State, and I remember my last semester, I went crazy because I figured the lighting in here is horrible. Whatever. I figured it's my senior year. I've been here how many years now, and I haven't purchased any kind of school attire. So forget that. I'm going to buy it. I went crazy and I bought all these sweats and sh stuff, shirts and everything you can think of. I wore them for like maybe two years and all of a sudden I get an office job and I'm stuck wearing pencil skirts. So, <laughs> you know, I kept these because they're new. I love them. You know, they make me proud. But then I also got rid of duplicate regular 
sweatshirts that I had that I didn't wear. So I either donated them or some of the ones I gifted because people really wanted them. But these ones I'm keeping. So no more buying sweatshirts. Sweatshirts purchase of any type is officially out of my vocabulary. Never. Because I have all that I need. And I really have all that I want. So there's no excuse to buy any more. So that category is done. And then you come to these little pretty little dresses. And of course, I can't wear these to work, but I sure love them. Um, I have a bunch of rock and bone outfits, a designer. Everything is handmade. So everything is like individual, customized. And I love these dresses. So it's been years, like over 10 years since I've put them on. And this month, I forced myself to wear every single outfit to the point where I would tag an outfit after I wear it and wash it. And then I won't wear it again until I wear something that I haven't worn. And if I liked it, I kept it. If I didn't like it, I gave it to someone who wanted it. So this is what's left. So I'm wearing the things that I like when I don't have work. I'm not just sitting around in sweatpants anymore, like eating ice cream. So it's forcing me to wear what I have. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. So I'm not getting rid of these. And then I'm trying to videotape as slowly as possible, but I'm new. This is for my documentation. So if anybody doesn't like it, I'm sorry. If you like it, thank you. <laughs> this dress was for my... 32nd birthday last year. I ordered it from China because poofy dresses are hard to find and I love poofy dresses. It's too big. Obviously, I didn't give them the right measurements. I used a belt and a whole bunch of pins to hold it up. I love the color. I love the style. So I'm keeping it and I'm going to alter it. It's not going anywhere. And then you have the work sweaters winter time so i have some sweaters that i purchase i think they're like calvin klein or whatever when i was in san francisco they're comfortable they're really all the sweaters that i need but because i had them put away or stashed somewhere in a clothing bag i never really wore them as much as i should and i'm busy like buying more sweaters and yeah that needed to stop so a good way to stop yourself from buying a lot of clothes that you don't notice that you have because things look shiny in the store is to just hang everything or put them in eyesight. If you want to fold them so you don't want to stretch them out, like wrong way to hang sweaters example right here, you're stretching them out. I figured whatever. Hang them up or fold them, put them in eye where you can see them when you walk into your closet because then you realize I have this or I don't want any more sweater because I like the one that I have and I really haven't worn it. Or you might say, I need more, you know, but it gives you an inventory constant of what you have and you know, like not to grab something because it looks shiny in the store. And I started taking pictures and doing things like this where I document my closet and what I have and I would go to the store and realize the things that I was picking up, I literally have a picture of it sitting in my closet with the tag still on it. So yeah, that kind of helps me not to emotional buy things that I don't need. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all of this stuff. Um, I downsized a lot, so I got rid of my bed frame because I want the whole bed on the floor thing. It's more comfortable. I'm short. So yes, I do use a ladder in the closet. <laughs> but um, my dressers, I did a lot of do-it-yourself projects. So I painted my nightstands and moved them into my closet so I can have like cute little want to be built-ins and these I'm so proud of myself because I used to rely on guys random guys guys I knew any kind of guy if you're handy you're my best friend and I would rely on them for every little thing and after like people like started living their own lives and being too busy to come help me I was like I'm gonna watch YouTube and figure out like if other girls can do it then come on I should be able to try to do it 
Like, I have a degree in accounting. You think I know how to use a paintbrush. Painting is super, super hard. The sanding, the priming, the sanding, the priming some more, the sanding, the priming, the painting, the painting, the curing. But when it was like finally done, I mean, I messed up a few times, but somebody on YouTube, I'm so happy for anyone who does little projects and show how they do things on YouTube. You guys saved my life. So thank you so much. But they told me like, if you mess up, it's paint. Just paint it again, you know? So that really helped me, and, you know? So I really appreciate it. But it's so weird. I got these face towel let thingies that I can use. And these little containers from office stores and stuff really are amazing because they fit in drawers, so you don't have to have them out. They're tall enough to hold a lot of things, and they're short enough to fit in drawers if you want to put them in drawers. So, like, I'm still working on that, but, like, I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of bras. I've downsized on bras. I'm not showing you what's below that. And then I usually put all the towels here. It's laundry week, so, of course, there's no towels. But if you open this up, these jars, I was obsessed with jars for the longest time in all the apartments that I lived in. So when I was like donating and getting rid of jars, there was like some that I was just like, I don't want to go back to the store and be tempted to buy it or forget that I used to have a whole set of these things. So I kept a certain amount of everything for myself. That forces me not to get itchy and buy when I see it because I know I have it. And then it forces me to use it somewhere in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom. Just use it. Use it for something, anything. You know, it'll work. So right now I use it to put little underwears and I color code it. And then I use it for other stuff, stockings and things, and I color code that. So whether it works or not, it forces me to use it. And if I decide it's not working and I want to use something else, I'll move them somewhere else but I won't buy it again. So this is part two. Overwhelming, really overwhelming. On top, it's all overwhelming. And then we'll see if I do a part three to see what happens. But yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I got jars up there. I was obsessed with those jars too. They're great, but I mean like if you there's a lot of things when you're downsizing that you realize you don't need and then you just have a lot of containers, but then you invested and you thought it through when you were buying it, so you don't just want to get rid of them. I mean, you might need them again. So, I just keep a certain amount. But this is a lot. <laughs>